So, on with, on with tonight. Um, what I'm going to do is a series of covers of songs that I particularly love. Um, <clears throat> uh, these, these are artists that I've either followed for years or just got into recently, but um, I really do love songs. And somebody said to me last week, do you do any happy songs? <laughs> and of course the answer is no, because there's very few piano songs that are particularly happy. They do tend to be more melancholic in their, in their, in their way. So I'm going to start off um, this evening with one of my great heroes. Um, the first time I saw John Martin um, was 19... 76 and I was walking up past the Odeon in Edinburgh with Nina and um, there was a sign outside saying there's a guy playing tonight called John Martin and I thought oh let's, let's get tickets so there was tickets available and as I was walking up the stairs I said to Nina oh my god listen to that band it's amazing this is going to be really good and then as we got to the top of the stairs and I could see the stage it was one guy with a guitar and some pedals and it absolutely blew my mind he was doing all this echo before you know ed sheeran never thought about it he, would, he was the guy who really started to do this but it was all this fabulous echoes and all this kind of stuff so one of, one of his favorite albums um of mine is john is, is um, one world uh, by john and the title track i think is uh, very apt for uh, for today as well so I'd like to start off with that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this in a minute, but I've got this little keyboard here. And this is a wee practice keyboard that I take away when I travel. And I can, um, I can, um, oh, excuse me. I can practice away in my camper van when I'm, when I'm traveling. Um, but I discovered that it's got the most beautiful, beautiful echo. So I thought that would be lovely for one world because that's kind of what it does in the song. So I'm going to start with that. Here we go. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Indeed, yeah, that was um, that was One World uh, by John Martin. Um, so um, the next song that I'm going to do for you is um, yeah, just on the piano. The next song I'm going to do for you is by a guy called John Grant. Um, John Grant used to be a lead singer in a band called the Czars uh, way back in the in the day, and and then he left, and he had four years off. Uh, four years of terrible drug addiction and drink and all sorts of stuff and it was in a real mess and then in 2010 he recorded an album called um, um, The Queen of Denmark and it's an absolutely stunning album if anybody hasn't heard it you know get into Spotify when you get back and have a listen every track in it's incredible amazing words and uh, it's a real um, it's really pouring his heart out in this album it's, it's such a good album uh, anyway, this is this is the track of this uh, this um, Queen of Denmark album yeah, from 2010, and it's called um, "Where Dreams Go to Die." <clears throat> Just do it, then I'll let you go. 
Seriously, if you've never heard the album, check it out, it's magnificent. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you'll have seen this wee guy here, my, my mascot, and this is Knit Cave. <laughs> yeah, I got this as a gift for my Christmas, and uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, he's keeping me right tonight. Um, and I've got tickets to go and see him in November, so I'm very excited in Glasgow. So if anybody's want to go and see Nick Cave, Glasgow, November, amazing. Um, this is, uh, if anybody would like to get into Nick Cave or, or listen to some Nick Cave, I think, I think The Boatman's Call is his most accessible album, 1997. Um, all, these, all the tracks in this, they're just some beautiful, beautiful tracks. I don't think there's anybody actually I don't think there's anybody who writes songs about love and lost, loss as well as he does. They're astonishing, astonishing poetry. Um, this song here is um, called Are You The One That I've Been Waiting For? Now I'm guessing he loved her, I'm guessing she's now gone and I'm guessing that he's longing for her to come back is my only guess on the lyrics but um, this is called Are You The One That I've Been Waiting For? You my 
Outside my window, the world has gone to war. I hear the war that I've been waiting for.